Welcome to World Action and Reaction News, today we do comparison HAL LCA Tejas and Chengdu J-10 fighter jets, let's start. The LCA and the J-10 are dawn of the aerospace industry of the two countries, China and India. Some people claim that the Chinese J-10 is better and some claim that the Indian LCA is better. This is an analysis of their capabilities from a technical point of view. Aircraft technical characteristics, its flight performance and tactical capabilities are primarily determined by a design concept which develops from specified aircraft roles, tasks, and mission environment. One can see the similarity between the LCA and the J-10 here. The LCA evolved out of a requirement to replace India's large fleet of MiG-21 and MiG-27. It is a light fighter that primary mission is air defense with information delivered from ground-based command and control centers. It also features the ability for close air support and air interdiction, which was mission that the MiG-27 performed. The J-10 evolved out of the Lavi fighter of Israel. Israel needed a light fighter to replace its F-4 and Mirage 3-V fleets, contemporaries of the MiG-21. This airplane's primary requirement was that of air interdiction and CA. However, China's requirement was somewhat more akin to that of India's. It had to replace its enormous fleets of J-7S and Q-5S. Hence, it would require an emphasis on air defense as well as strike. Both the LCA and the J-10 were designed as theater aircraft, meaning that they are of the same class. The comparison of these aircraft is largely theoretical because, these aircraft seldom move far away from the battlefield and rarely engage in deep penetration strike missions. However, there are a number of objective factors which can be used to compare these aircraft and rate their technological perfection, aircraft performances, and the characteristics of avionics and armament suites. The LCA utilizes a clean aerodynamic profile with its tailless delta wind and its monofin. It features high roll rates and can progress from level to vertical flight in seconds due to its large elevons. The LCA is a very stable aircraft and is controlled largely by its quadruple redundant digital fly-by-wire system. It has a very low wing loading that gives it superb maneuverability. The LCA also has short takeoff and landing ability. The J-10 features a tapered delta wing with tails and canards. This combination provides extremely high lift, thus providing short takeoff and landing ability. It is quite unstable and requires manipulation by the Iron Bird flight control system which is a quadruple redundant digital fly-by-wire system to stay in the air. Both these fighters fly conventionally and lack thrust vectoring engines. Both fighters have similar acceleration and altitudes. The LCA has a top speed of Mach 1.7 whereas the J-10 has a top speed of Mach 2. The LCA has a combat radius of about 850 km and the J-10 has one from anywhere between 550 to 1100 km, according to latest data. The LCA is more suited for the interceptor role because its delta wing is very efficient at transonic to supersonic speeds required for interception. The J-10 being based on the LAVI is more efficient at subsonic speeds required for CA. The LCA's payload of 4000 kgs is quite similar to the J-10S payload of 4500 kgs. Both fighters carry essentially the same amount of ordnance for a strike mission. The J-10 is however more efficient at very low level flight required for a CA mission. However both aircraft are equally efficient at interdiction missions. The LCA uses the Kaveri engine at 20,200 pounds, which provides it a thrust to weight ration of 1.7. The J-10 uses the WS-10 engine that provides a thrust of 27,000 pounds and provides it a thrust to weight ratio of 1.75. Both engines are very fuel efficient. The Kaveri engine has advanced features that allow it to start with ease in high altitudes or very hot conditions without any fall in engine efficiency. It also has advanced protection against foreign object damage. On the other hand, it is doubtful that the WS-10 has such protective features. The role of avionics in aircraft combat employment is ever-growing. Let us look at the avionics subsystems of the aircraft under comparison. 
Both airplanes run on MIL 1553B standard buses. The LCA radar is a lightweight pulse Doppler that has the ability to track 10 targets at ranges of over 100 km and engage 4. The J10S radar choice has not been determined yet. But its choices are the Elta 2035 radar, originally meant for the LAVI, that tracks 6 targets at ranges over 100 km and engages 4 targets and the Fazatron N010 radar that equips the later versions of the Su-27 that can track 6 targets at ranges up to 160 km and engages 2 targets. Some sources suggest that there is a Chinese radar under development that is similar to the Fazatron N010 radar. The LCA radar more modern than the N010 as well as the Elta 2035 radar in terms of tracking ability and jamming immunity. When operating against ground targets, all the aforementioned radars are similar in ability. The LCA uses an indigenous EU system that is based on the latest technology, and is similar to the one in the Indian Su-30 MKI. The J-10 in comparison will use either the standard Su-27 EU suite or an indigenous version of it. The LCA suite is more advanced than the standard Su-27 EU suite, which was rejected for use in the Su-30 MKI. RWR system, jammer, and chaff and flare dispensers are used in both aircraft. The LCA utilized a FLIR along with other OLS whereas the J-10 lacks this. They both use target seeker slash designator pods for ground attack missions with PGMs. The LCA uses a inbuilt designator pod, whereas the J-10 will utilize a Chinese version of the lightning pod. A number of the LCA's onboard equipment, navigation and communications equipment, cockpit instruments, are versions of those on the Su-30 MKI and are quite close to the best in world technology. The onboard systems on the J-10 are either indigenous Chinese developments or are Chinese versions of cockpit instrumentations of the Su-27. The LCA utilized a HUD, HMS, and two color MFDs and HODIS controls. The J-10 utilizes a HUD, HMS, one color MFD and two monochrome ones and HODIS controls. Both fighters feature high survivability, provided by a wide range of assets. Systems protecting from fuel loss and hydroshock, as well as the firefighting system, which also protects airframe compartments, make both aircraft very survivable. In terms of weapon load, both these fighters are quite similar. Both use HMS for their SRAAMs. The LCA uses the AA 11, which is quite possibly the best SRAM in service along with the Python 4. The J-10 uses a Chinese version of the Python-3 missile in their aircraft. The J-10 could also use the AA-11 aircraft that were procured with the Su-27. The LCA uses the AA-12 Astra active radar guided missile for its BVR engagements. The J-10 might use either the AA-10 semi-active guided missile or the Chinese version of the Italian Apside missile. The LCA uses KH-59 Mi for interdiction and the KH-31 for seed missile along with American LGBs and French air-to-surface weapons. The J-10S guided missiles are Russian LGBs, KH-31 for seed and the KH-31 for interdiction. Both airplanes use indigenously made unguided weapons. The LCA and the J-10 use the same Russian 23mm gun which have similar characteristics. On the whole, aircraft combat capability is usually assessed by some complex indices, defining an aircraft's overall performance. The advantages that the LCA possessed over the J-10 is its more up-to-date radar, EU, cockpit instrumentation systems and its greater weapon choice. The advantage that the J-10 has is its marginally greater thrust-to-weight ratio and its high efficiency at low-level flight. Both aircraft as as previously mentioned are theater aircraft and are typically used for air defense missions in the near zone or, possibly, against ground targets lacking air defense cover. Both are truly excellent aircraft and are superior to their main opponents, the F-16A fighters of Taiwan and Pakistan. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news. Warn.